we're just too stunned and we cannot help but look at how gorgeous you are. Yes. We are gathered here in the sight of God, in the, in the face of this company, to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is commended of St. Paul to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. If any man or woman can show just cause why they may not be lawfully joined together, let him now speak or else hereafter forever hold their peace. I guess that's enough. Oh, excuse me, you don't <laughs> And so, as we now continue, will you, Jordan, have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live in matrimony after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will, your love, will you love her, comfort her, and honor her, keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep her only unto you, so that, so as long as you both shall live? And your answer is? <laughs> Will you, Janice, take this man to be your holy wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you obey him and serve him, love him, honor him, and keep him in, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep him only unto him, so as long as you both shall live? And so who gives away this wonderful, gorgeous woman? Amen, amen. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you don't mind coming together. That's right. And so I want you to repeat after me. I, Jordan, take you, Janice, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse. I, Jordan, take you, Janice, to be my wife, to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, Till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I pledge my truth to you. And it's really troth, not truth. Troth. <laughs> Janice, please repeat after me. I, Janice, take you, Jordan. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. And to obey. And to obey. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's will. According to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I give thee my troth. And thereto I give thee my troth. <laughs> we have rings. And so as we gather for this portion, the rings will be exchanged, but before the rings are exchanged, they're going to read vows that they have 
written for one another. Who would have thought I'd get you? I vow today to die to self and live for you, to live in truth and treasure you, to be your friend and listening ear, to be your lover and hold you near, to focus on us and not our surroundings, to make the best of even the worst. If we're sick or if we're broke, you can count on me to try to crack a joke. <laughs> I'll make you smile, I'll try to take you somewhere else for a little while, or if maybe you just need silence, I promise you my presence. No quick fix solutions, just me to be still. To feel what you feel, to hurt when you hurt, to rejoice when you're joyful. Janice, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Just as you are today, flaws and all, I'm here to stay to focus on our health and lift some weights. <laughs> <laughs> to stay in the now, to stay in today. I wanna grow old with you. I wanna see the world with you, continue getting to know you, start a family with you. Whatever I do, I wanna do it with you. Finally, I promise to always respect you and to prioritize you. And I vow to close the cabinet doors when I'm done getting stuff too. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to that cabinet door. <laughs> and now my husband-to-be. We have seen each other through rough times and witnessed many blessings arise for one another. I am grateful to be standing here in this moment with you. With just a simple smile, you can brighten up a room. You make it so easy to love you. My family and I love you so much. And you have brought us. My family and I love you so much, and you have brought us so much joy. The Lord knows how much that fills my heart. To the man who made Jesus possible for me, I can never thank you enough for the peace and comfort that I hold in my heart. Today with the Lord as our guide and his body as our witness, we venture off into a sacred vow. I promise to honor and love you until the last days. I promise to love you on sunny days and even rainy days, and more importantly, rainy days. I promise to honor you in your presence and in your absence, and I promise to take care of you as best I can, as I know you will do the same for me. With this ring, I do wed. With all my worldly goods, I thee endow. With all my worldly goods, I thee endow. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. You can hold hands. It's allowed. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> o eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send your blessing upon your servants, this man and this woman, that as Isaac and Rebekah live faithfully together, so these persons may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant between the two of them. And may they forever remain in perfect love and peace together and live according to your laws through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And as um, married together, I just want to share that Jordan loves communion. And communion is something that we do. It's a sacrament that we believe in, that we partake in, and we do it to remember our Lord and our Savior. And we hope that one day we'll be able to take that communion with him face to face. And that's why I want all of you to know that that's why what we do this, why we do this and why we're gonna do it now with uh, Jordan and Janice. We're at a point where we're going to recite the Lord's Prayer, and if you don't mind joining us with the, with the prayer <coughs> together. Usually at this point, we would light a candle to symbolize the unity of the two becoming one. And Jordan and Janice have asked to do the, what we call the sand ceremony. So I'm just going to kind of describe a little bit of what it is that they're going to be doing. We now celebrate Jordan and Janice's union with a symbolic sand ceremony. First, we pour sand from this beautiful beach, which is here, Crossroads Tabernacle in your imaginations where Jordan and Janice stand today as they commit their lives to each other. 
representing the strong foundation of their relationship. That foundation includes God, their families, their upbringing, and all the important steps on their journeys that led them to be who they are today. This foundation will support them in their love as they grow and change together. Jordan and Janice, today you are making a lasting commitment to share the rest of your lives with each other. That commitment is symbolized through the pouring of these two individual containers of sand, one that represents you, Jordan, and the other that represents you, Janice. Each of you comes to this relationship with unique strengths and vulnerabilities and histories. As individuals, you are beautiful people all on your own. Yet when the two of you are blended together with God, you form something even more beautiful. Those strengths can blossom and their vulnerabilities can be cared for. And those people, you and you can soar. So we're gonna start with you, Jordan. Simple here is to know that as these particles of sand come together, this represents God's love and care for you. He's embedded in each particle of sand. And so as we think about the sand, we recognize that if you try pulling the sand apart, it's not going to happen. So that's what makes this so beautiful and so symbolic. So as we get to the ending of this time together, those whom God has joined together, and you can hold your hand so that we can visualize this. Let no man put asunder, let no man separate. For as much as Jordan and Janice have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, there too have given and pledged their troth to each other and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring and by joining hands. I pronounce that they are man and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.